College soccer is back, and the Earlham Quakers women's soccer team will open up coming up on Friday. We're going to talk about that schedule. We're going to talk about the entire, well, almost a brand new team coming in this year. A lot of freshmen had a chance to see them the other day in practice for a few moments. And Coach Harden joining us today to talk a little bit about the women's soccer team. And, you know, it's hard to believe we're doing this uh, already. The summer went right by, but I noticed something all summer long that you were very busy traveling and recruiting. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, the summer flew by, but... Uh you know, being out at all the tournaments and evaluating the uh, talent that uh, we're recruiting, it uh, made the time fly by. Do you enjoy that part? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, uh, if, if you don't have the players, you know, it's, yeah. it's tough to win the game. So yeah. that's uh, something when you're coming in and, and building a program up, you want to get out there and, and find the best players that you can. You bet. What did you learn from last year and your first year here? I found out that uh, we have a lot of good, good character kids here in the program. Uh, they work hard, they were looking for new direction and leadership, and um, they've done everything that we've asked because they want to win as well. Yeah. Uh, so they've done everything we've asked here in the off season, and you know, with the mix of the new freshmen, it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing right now. We can feel the momentum, and we're just going to try to build off of that. I want to talk about those freshmen, and there's some pretty talented freshmen I've noticed on your roster. And uh, by the way, you can go to GoEarlum.com and only see the entire roster and where they're from, but you can also see the schedule, which we're going to post here in a couple of moments as well. Uh, I've got to ask, you, you do, though, lose a couple of quality players from last year and your leading scorer from last year as well, so you've got to fill that void. Yeah, yeah. We, we had a real... A uh, good group of seniors last year that they were our leaders and like the heart and soul of our team. Yeah. Um, so they are going to be very hard to replace, but um, we do have some new faces coming in that look to fill those uh, holes and then pick up, uh, you know, the loss of the goals that, that we had. So yeah. we got some firepower coming in and, and hopefully that uh, they can put some balls in the back of the net for us. Yeah, no scoring was an issue at times last year, at least uh, as a whole across the board. So that's something you probably went out in a recruiting aspect and said, we got to find some scores. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Uh, and we, we needed, we relied uh, on one player real heavily last year yeah. for scoring. And, and um, you know, we, we brought in some players that can fill that void and in our scrimmage match the other day we had three different goal scorers so Good. you know we are not relying as heavily on one player this year. How about some of the players that are coming back? You have a, a few that got a, a lot of playing time last year. Yeah uh, a couple that we could touch on uh, there are two of our uh, captains this year uh, one is a, a senior in the back Emma Hoffman yeah. um, she's she's uh, played most every minute of the game uh, <laughs> last year and then another uh, center back for us is Lydia Harvey a junior and she's also a captain for us and you know they played a ton of minutes so they have a lot of experience under their belts and um, they're really mentoring these you know, new faces and you young bet. players. All right let's let's talk about the new players. Ten new freshmen correct? That's correct yep. Yeah. Um, from all over the United States and even the world. We've got an uh, international player from Zimbabwe. Wow. Um, you know, we've got players all the way on the West Coast out in Seattle and all the way to the East Coast from Maryland and uh, as far north as Minnesota. So wow. then, you know, yeah. we've got some local players as well. So How hard you know. is that the, uh, to bring all of that together? And then you've got to think about, are, are they able to play the style that you want to play? And they, they've also had to adjust to college soccer, which is different than high school or club volley or club soccer. And at the same time, you've got to find chemistry. You've yeah. got to make sure that everybody gets along together. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. The group is really gelling, and, and the chemistry is coming along. Uh, through the first couple of weeks of practice here, um, getting along really well, and they're kind of finding out each other's tendencies and where their strengths and weaknesses are, and, and it's really coming together, and it's going to gel over time. Um, but you know, it is fun to see them coming from all over the place, and then you know, gelling with our returning players, and and just kind of building from there. Yeah, and they've got to learn each other. They've got to learn you. You've got to learn them. You have a new assistant coach as well, so you're all kind of learning the same language, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I, the assistant coach uh, worked for me at my at my old job at Marion University. Oh, and, good. And so we we've known each other for a long time. You know, I know we work well with each other, um, but the players are getting to know him yeah. as well too. So, but 
seems like it's going well and um, you know we're just trying to get better each and every day. Okay. When we come back we'll talk about the scrimmage. We'll also talk about what's coming up this weekend and what that schedule looks like and maybe where this team fits in in the HCAC this year. We'll come back in just a couple of moments right here on Radio Troy Digital Sports. Coach Hart joining us this week. We're going to talk uh, some women's uh, soccer. I hope all season long keep mm -hmm. you guys updated. I think we're going to have to if uh, a lot of the parents want to tune in and they're all over the world. They're not going to make it here very much, are yeah, they? Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's tough to uh, make it in person if you're from <laughs> so far away, but we have a great group of parents and, um, you know, really the local ones. Uh, uh, we'll do some pitch in dinners and, and things like that, so at least some of the kids are getting some home cooked Good. meals. Yeah, first time away from home for a lot of them, that would be a little bit difficult for a while, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about the academic side, too. <laughs> yeah, they got to get go to class once in a while. Yeah. Coach, you did scrimmage the other, the other day. What did you get out of it? We saw a lot of uh, different things, really. We played some different players in different positions and combinations of players, and we saw some things that we liked, and we also saw some things that we need to work on as well. Um, but, you know, overall, we, we won the match 3-1. to one. Yeah. Um, and it was really encouraging. We were putting in a new formation this year, and um, you know it's it's coming along, and we like yeah. what we see so far. Yeah, in goal, you're probably in pretty good shape with a returner, right? Yeah, our, our uh, sophomore returning starting goalkeeper, sorry, Stacy from Las Vegas, is uh, um, our number one goalkeeper right now, and she's doing a tremendous job. And, and she came up big in the match a couple times, made some huge saves for us, and yeah. as she did all year last year. And you know, I think she made uh, she had the single season saves record last year. Um, so you know, she was very busy. So hopefully she's not as busy this year. Yeah. Uh, but she does a very good job for us. Yeah, always nice to have a goal keeper that's back for another year, especially when she was just a freshman. Has that underneath her yeah, belt? Yeah, yeah. So that year of experience is huge for her, and you know she's got you know two more years in front of her too. So yeah, be fun there. Yeah. Coach, you, uh, before we get to the schedule, talk about this weekend as a whole. Uh, just you, you open up on Friday, so you guys are going to be under the fire immediately. Yeah, I mean, we, we go to Ohio Wesleyan and, and play a very good uh, Ohio Wesleyan team there. They're very well coached and uh, well organized, and um, you know it's really kind of go out there and see what we can do. If, yeah. if we can keep building off the momentum that we had from the scrimmage and and kind of really see where we stand. Yeah, you need to you need to have that though. You got to really know th this is a true litmus test. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, they're they're a very good opponent, and um, you know, we'll just kind of see how we stand and and uh, make improvements and adjustments from there as we move forward. But it'll be it'll be a good test for us, you know, as we head into conference play later on down the road. First two on the road, and then uh, McMurray next week. But you got trying for your second match, so you're going to get a really good idea of where you're at when you come back home. Yeah, I mean it, it's a quick turnaround. We will be a busy. We have three games the following week, so we play yeah. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Yeah, we go up to Trine and play them, and then we get to open up at home for the regular season against McMurray on Thursday. Where do you fit in the conference this year? Uh, Preseason, they picked us to finish eighth, um, one point behind the seventh place position. You know, we hope to improve on that and try to be in the middle of the pack. And you know, you never know if we get uh, hot and we can, you know, make a run here for the uh, playoffs. Nothing wrong with being picked there because then you can su surprise some people. Yeah, I, I hope we kind of sneak up and surprise some people and. Um, you know, and then maybe down the road we, we'll have the target on our back. All right, it's going to so, be fun. Coach, yeah. good to see you again. Yeah, hey, you too. Thanks right. so much. And uh, we're going to keep up with Coach all year long. I promise we're going to run him down and make sure he doesn't get away from it this year because I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch and a, an exciting young team. Make sure you check out, again, the Earlham website, goerlum.com, for all the latest information on the Earlham women's soccer team. And we'll see you next time right here on Radio Troy Digital Sports.